I'm Amy Kurtz Lansing, and I'm the curator at the Florence Griswold Museum, where we're in our current exhibition, Art in the New England Farm, which is on view through September 16th. And I'm standing here with a new acquisition that we're debuting in the exhibition. This is a painting by William Henry Howe called um, Repose, September Days in Normandy, and it's also called In the Meadow. And it's a painting that Howe did in France, actually not in New England, but it maps his interest in the subject of cows and livestock across his career from America to Europe and then back to, um, to New England. He was somebody who uh, was based in St. Louis and was in business and then started painting animals fairly late in life. He went to Europe to study um, and quickly in the space of less than 10 years became an expert animal painter, winning prizes from the French Salon, um, including for pictures like this one. This is a picture that was in the Universal Exposition in Paris in 1889, and he proudly indicates on the picture that he did it in Europe. Um, we are thrilled that we could add this um, wonderful picture to our collection because it was actually a piece that was owned by the St. Louis Art Museum um, from during the years of the artist's lifetime. Um, he considered it a major work, uh, one that helped make his reputation, uh, and it's one that they um, decided to let out of their collection and we were able um, to add it to ours. We're just thrilled to have a cow like this one. Um, Hal painted for Florence Griswold, uh, a painting of a cow in a stable that is on a panel in the door in her parlor. Um, so we know it's a subject that she cherished. Um, and then just to have this major demonstration of his skill as an animal painter um, is just a wonderful addition to our collection because we can move it unlike the door panel, which stays in one place. The cow is so appealing. Um, this, uh, I've heard that this is a Hereford cow from a, a more knowledgeable cow person than I am. Um, and uh, it's just such an appealing animal, so big, it looks right at you, it has these beautiful eyelashes. We've even um, been inspired to give a name to this cow because she feels so um, lifelike and, and, um, and we've thought maybe because of those beautiful eyelashes we should call her Maybelline, like the mascara. Uh, so this is a sh picture that we look forward to having on view often at the museum, uh, but if you'd like to see it now, you can come down um, and see it in our exhibition through September.